Getting to school was a problem for the children in remote places. Some families tried to move closer to schools. Some children went to stay with relatives. Jim Bertram's parents moved from the Coquit Valley when he was seven, and he started at Southern Now School. He quickly caught up and later would pass his 11 plus. He set off for the school at Kirk Newton on exam day at 5.30 in the morning, had his breakfast with friends at West Newton, went on and did the exam, and then walked home. Unfortunately, he could not take up his place. Even had he stayed in Annick during the week, he would not have been able to get home for weekends. In summer, he could have walked over the hills from Wooler, but for most of the year it would not be light enough for long enough and not safe in bad weather. At five years old, her walk to school was very difficult. It was a steep climb up out of the valley and a steep climb back at the end of the day. Her mother would watch her set off with her older brother Archie. Not least among the hazards were adders. Getting to school from Fleup was easier with only two fields to cross. On our way, we would spot the, any animal tracks if it was snow on the ground. And, and the, in the spring and summer, the flowers, the wild flowers, the harebells, the dog roses, the, um, the wild hyacinths and primroses when they came out. Well, it was the sort of thing I'd always wanted. It was very small and very remote and in a lovely, quiet, peaceful place. And it had a small number of children, all ages from four to 15. And it was rather different from the uh, school in Leeds, which had hundreds of children in it. It was very easy to uh, make use of all the natural resources around. If you started with the animals themselves, even the little ones could say how many legs did all these uh, animals have and multiply them and things like that. You uh, got onto things like weighing a whole fleece, measuring uh, the area that it covered and uh, finding out where they were transported to for things to be done to them. Um, almost every subject could be brought into it somehow or other. Change over day for the shepherds was normally 13th of May. Um, that was very stressful for us moving, particularly changing schools. Quite enjoyed moving, that wasn't too bad, but uh, to leave our friends behind and go to different schools, we didn't know what to expect, you know. Oh, well, I think because the church and the school were in such close proximity, it was a very useful source of material for, for lessons from Miss Cronin, who was the head teacher at the time. And I do remember coming in and doing some rubbings on, on some of the headstones and, and, and gravestones. Um, and I think we used the church as well for, for Christmas carol services and things like that. It was seen as a fairly safe environment, not inside the church necessarily, but within the, the confines of the cemetery wall. Um, for, for kids at that time who weren't perhaps supervised as closely as they are now. I think as well the hymns that we sang um, every, every afternoon at half past three or twenty to four or whatever time we, we shut. I think the one hymn that we all sang was Now the Day is Over, which I still remember yet. And whether it was a particular day or whether it was just the, an atmosphere that was captured. But as the sun was going down and it was a late afternoon and the, 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 the tranquility in the school as well and the, the sound of us, 15 or 20, or however, however many there were, singing now the day is over, knowing we're going to walk back across the hill of home with the twilight and, and that peace, sense of peace and tranquility and security. I still remember the, 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 those emotions yet all these years later.